Hey guys, Ben Bateman here from AfterBuzz TV at the Fear the Walking Dead official season premiere red carpet. The entire cast and crew and Robert Kirkman, the creator of Walking Dead, is here. We're going to talk to Alicia debnam Carey and let her know that we got $100,000 raised for the Trevor Project in her honor. I'm also going to give Cliff Curtis the whole, what did you see, Canada line, if I can. Stick with us, guys. We'll see you after the carpet. It's a really nice suit. You look, you look good. Thanks, man. You look good. It's a little hole in the wall in Santa Monica called Caruso's. Caruso's. These two old Italian guys. Okay. And they really like they they handmade Italian suits. It's not expensive. It's really really good. If you want. I live in suit. Santa Monica. I'll go check yeah, it out. Go yeah. Check it out on Fifth Street. All right. Caruso's. So Ben Bateman Caruso's here for AfterBuzz TV. Apparently interrupting my guest. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mr. Cliff Curtis, who is dressed to be the next James Bond. Apparently, this is like your live audition right now. Oh, thanks, man. That's really that's nice of you to say so. Uh, so, like Rick before you, and like Jack on Lost before him, you're the emotional centerpiece. You're you you are the character who, when you break, is when the show really changes. Can we expect to see your character break this season on the show? I I think I think he literally is broken though, at the beginning of the second season. Yeah, I think he's heartbroken. I don't I I struggle to see him as a Rick Rick Grimesy type sort of guy. He's just uh, much more ordinary than that. He's more of an English teacher. You don't see him taking matters into his own hands, like really ripping things up. You think he's going to stay kind of the pacifist a lot of the time? Far. That's what I've seen, yeah. No, he, he's a practical man. He'll do what he has to do, but I don't think he has it in him to be like the alpha male. Sure. Me, on the other hand, yeah. but <laughs> Travis, you know, I think, I think our lead on the show is Madison. Okay. Yeah. And we got other great alpha males like Strand and Salazar and then young Nick is coming through really strong. But Travis, I don't know what's going to happen. They're keeping everything under wraps. Maybe by the end of the season something will happen. But right, I see so the twinkle far. in your eye. I think you know. So now, uh, one of no, my favorite... I, really I wish I did know. <laughs> one of my favorite movies of all time is Sunshine. Really? And, yeah. And you have one yeah. of the most quotable nerd lines that's ever been uttered. What do you see, Canada? It's the, it's the most amazing thing ever. I've quoted it literally a hundred times. That's great, man. Danny Boyle, he's a legend. It's a good one. It's a good one. Well, I cannot wait to watch you on the season, my friend. You're doing a great job so far, and uh, good luck with the rest of it. You want to see a good movie? Oh, yeah, tell me about it. April 1st, uh, it's called The Dark Horse. Okay. The Dark Horse, and I, it's uh, my lead role, my first sort of re real lead role in a movie, and, and it's, uh, check it out, please. American or New Zealand? It's a New Zealand indie. It's a uh, very heartfelt, inspiring, uplifting film. Is it directed by Lee Tamori? No, it's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you're going to hear about this director. He's super okay. talented, yeah. Very good. But check it out. Like, just take three minutes to watch the trailer. You're going you're gonna to appreciate it. It's good. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you, sir.